Hello, friends. Hello, Connie. Hello, Connie. Hello, Connie. How are you today? Hello, Bryson. Hello, Bryson. Hello, Bryson. How are you today? Hello, Otto. Hello, Otto. Hello, Otto. How are you today? Hello, Max. Hello, Max. Hello, Max. How are you today? How are you today? Are you happy? Are you sleepy? Grumpy? Sad? Oh! Surprised? Oh! Oh my goodness, you are? Okay! I wonder why you're surprised. Well, I thought today that we could look in our box and we could get some things out and we can practice using our fingers to cut. Cut, 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 cut. And do you know what we cut with? I bet you have a pair of scissors in your box. My scissors are big. Your scissors might be small. These are big grown-up scissors. You have kid scissors that you can use. Can you find your scissors in your box? Go find your scissors and bring them back, okay? Get those scissors. All right, got your scissors. Oh, well, look, I got. I brought something else. I brought my glue in your box at home. Do you have a glue stick? Go see if you can find it, okay? You have your scissors and your glue. Do you remember when we use a glue stick, we pull off this circle part, we go and there it is, there's a the glue. And we have to twist a little bit on the bottom. And then when we're done, we roll it back down and we put the top back on. That's our glue stick. Scissors, glue, what else do we need? Oh, we need some crayons. Do you have some crayons in your bag? Oh, get them out, okay? We're gonna use those today. So you need scissors, you need some glue, and you need your crayons. Okay, and there's one more thing. Do you guys, do you have any lids at your house? Ask mom or dad or grandma or grandpa or sister or brother. Do you guys have a round lid you could use? Maybe you have it in a cupboard or you could use a plate. Maybe you could use a plate to trace around or a bowl. Go find something that's a circle that's round. We're gonna make something round today. Oh my goodness sake. Did you see that big monster face? That's called the cat face. That's Truff. Truff wonders what we're doing with our scissors and our glue and our lead and our crayons. Oh, but wait, Truff, we need one more thing. We need one more thing, Truff. We need some paper. Did you have any paper in your box or in your bag? How did you get out a piece of paper? Truff, do you have any paper? Oh, he says, yes, Mom, I have paper. Thank you, Truffy. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Truff, you watch. You and Max and Otto and Bryson and Connie, okay? All right, guys, I'm going to get my lid. Miss McGahey is going to put the thing. I'm going to put it on top of my paper. Look, Truffy, I'm putting it on my paper. And I'm going to choose a crayon. Oh, Truff says, what color should we choose, Truff? We should choose a dark color. He chose black because he has black spots. Mrs. McGahey is going to take her crayon and go around the lid. Can you take your crayon and trace around and around and around the lid? Oh, look at that. Let me pull up the lid. Oh, what did we make? We made a circle. It looks like a round circle. It's round like the lid. It's round like the glue stick lid. It's round like my crayon container. Let's see, what else is round? Oh, a tire is round. A cookie is round. Hmm, what else? 
maybe the sunshine is round. Maybe you have a round plate, or you have a round bowl, or you have a round ball at your house. You know what I'm going to do in that round circle? I'm going to take my crayon and I'm going to color inside. Can you do that with me? Can you take your crayon and color inside? I wonder what color you chose. Truffles chose black because he likes his black spots. What color did you guys choose to color inside your circle? I'm going to color all over inside my circle. I'm going to make it all black. Okay. There we go, let's make our circle black. Did you get it all colored in? Is it dark? Let's try to make it dark, not light. Let's get it all the way colored in. There we go. All right, that's my one piece of paper. Now, here's the next job. We have two jobs today. We first made a circle and we colored it in. Now, let's take our other piece of paper and let's draw a line from the top to the bottom. Get your crayon. Start at the top. Have mommy or daddy help you if you need help. And go down. Did you do that? Did you start at the top and did you make a line down on your white paper? I made a line down. Okay. Put your crayon away over here on the side. Now, can you find your scissors? Get your scissors. Be careful. They're sharp. We want to make sure that we're careful. Scissor operators. Scissors are sharp. All right, let's get our scissors and let's see if we can cut on that line, okay? Let's start at the top and let's make our fingers. Remember how you put your thumb in the top and you put your second and third finger next and you snip, snip, snip. You shut them, open them, shut them, open them, shut them, open them, shut them, open them, shut them, and shut. Oh, look at what happened. I cut my paper and I made one, two pieces. Okay, now here's what we're going to do. Let's put our circle back here and we're going to take our two pieces and you know what we're going to do? We're going to take our scissors and we're just going to cut a bunch of different pieces. Let's just see if we can cut a bunch of pieces. We're just going to cut this paper. Let's just see. Watch out, Truffle. You don't want to cut your fur. No, that would be dangerous, wouldn't it? All right, let's just cut a bunch of pieces. You see these paws? Truffle wants to cut too. Mrs. McGahey's just going to cut. And Truffle wants to help me, okay? He really likes to cut, but his paws don't work well like your fingers do. All right, let's just cut a bunch of pieces from our paper. Hmm, I wonder how many pieces I'll get. How many pieces do you think you'll get? I'm just cutting on my paper. I'm making it smaller as I cut. I like to cut. It makes my fingers work, and it makes me happy. Does cutting make you happy? It makes me happy. I love to cut. Are you almost finished? Look how small my paper is getting. How small is your paper? Oh my gosh, I think my little paper is going to disappear. <gasps> Holy moly. Look at that. <gasps> I cut it all. Look at all those pieces I have. <gasps> oh my gosh. I have a lot of little pieces of paper that I cut up. All right. Can you find your glue stick? And remember, pull this part off. Go. And then twist it so the glue comes up. And let's put glue all over inside our colored circle. Let's put it inside there, okay? Here we go. I'm going around and around and I'm putting lots of glue. Oh, stop. Now I'm going to twist it back down and put the lid on. Okay, glue. See you later. Glue's all done. Now I'm going to take all my little pieces and I'm going to push them on with my finger. I'm going to try to cover up all that black. Let's see if I can do it. I'm going to stay inside my circle. Oops, that came out. I better see if I can keep it inside. I wonder if I could use all my pieces inside my circle. Hmm. How about you guys? Are you using all your pieces 
to put down inside your circle. Let's see if we can cover it up. Oh, this is fun. I love pushing things down into the glue. Sometimes my fingers get sticky. How about you? Do your fingers get sticky? Oh, look at that, you guys. I almost have my circle covered with little pieces of paper. Hmm. I think I used many little pieces of paper that I cut. I'm covering my circle. Oh my gosh, look at that. I think my circle is full. It is full of little scraps of paper that I cut with my hand. Oh, wow. Show me your circle. What does your circle look like? Oh my gosh. You guys are such great scissor users. Wow. That's cool. I had a lot of fun drawing a circle, coloring it in, and then using my crayon to draw a line and cut, and then using my scissors to make many different pieces, using my glue to put on the circle, and then putting all the pieces on top. Wow! We did it, you guys. You guys followed directions, and you made the whole project. Awesome job, you guys. Let me know how it looks. We could do it again. I can make another circle and use a different crayon and cut some more paper. And then I can hang it up. What do you think, Truff? Oh, he's looking away. You see his black spots? Anyway, Truff and Mrs. McGahey are going to say bye. All right, talk to you later. Bye.